In the previous video, we learned how to send JSON data as response. In this video, let's learn how to send HTML as response. I'm going to revert back to plain text response instead of JSON. So content type, text slash plain, and res.end, hello world. This should seem familiar as it is the exact same code from two videos ago. If we now restart the server and refresh the browser, we should see the text hello world. Now let's try to add some HTML. I'm going to wrap the hello world text with an h1 tag. Restart the server. and refresh the browser. Now the output is not as expected. We would expect the text hello world to be larger in size without the h1 tags at the start and the end. The reason we see only text and not HTML is because we are asking the browser to treat this response as plain text. If the browser has to parse this as HTML, we need to specify content type as text slash HTML. Restart the server. And now if we refresh the browser, we should see larger hello world text in bold. This is the default styling of an H1 tag. And this is how you send HTML content as response. Although this works fine, typically we don't build HTML as a string in the same JavaScript file. Instead, we define the HTML in a separate file and send that file contents as a response. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to create a new file called index.html. Within the file, type exclamation and tab to generate HTML content. Specify a title. And for the body within an h1 tag, specify the text from index.html. Next, we need to read the file contents of index.html in our request listener. And for reading a file, we know we can use the FS module. So at the top, const fs is equal to require node colon fs. And within the request listener, const html is equal to fs dot read file sync. The file path is dot slash index dot html. And encoding is utf8. The reason I've used read file sync and not read file is because we want to wait for the file content to be read before responding. Now that we have the file content as HTML, we send it as response. If we now restart the server, so control C, node index, head back to the browser and refresh we see the expected HTML. From index.html, if I inspect it, it is in an h1 tag. Although this works, you have to keep in mind that read file sync reads the entire file contents at once. If we have a large HTML file, we are storing all that content in a temporary buffer which may lead to unnecessary use of memory. Instead, we can rely on streams, which we have already learned about. So fs.createReadStream, the path is dot slash index.html, and we are going to pipe to the response. Restart the server, node index, refresh the browser, and we see the same output as before. 
but this time our code is more performant. Now for simplicity, I've used relative path to index.html, but you should stick to using double underscore directory name whenever you can. Save the file. Restart the server, refresh, and we see the same output. So this is how you can respond with HTML. Right now, we have a very simple HTML file, but you can add any HTML tag you want to along with CSS for styling. Content type text slash HTML is the key. On a side note, if you don't want to restart the server every time you make a change, please make use of the watch mode that we've already learned about. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.